Goa's annual plan for the current financial year 2009-2010 was fixed at Rs 2,240 crore, which includes an additional central assistance of Rs 40 crore for the national games and other projects of special importance to the state. This is a 29% increase over the previous year's plan outlay. Chief Minister Digambar Kamath met Planning Commission Deputy Chairman Montek Singh Ahluwalia in Delhi on Thursday and impressed upon him the importance of some projects in the state including the National Games 2011, Tourism Projects, Burden of the Sixth Pay Commission Recommendations and the state's plan of celebrating the Golden Jubilee of its liberation from the Portuguese rule. The Chief Minister informed that an amount of 2,240 crore has been finalized for the year 2009-2010 which included Rs 40 crore for hosting the National Games 2011 and several other programs of importance to the state. Deputy Chairman of the Planning Commission and the members of the Planning Commission they went through the presentation given by the state government to them. They went through the demands made by the state government. They went through the demands made with respect to the Prime Minister's uh, package which Prime Minister had announced during his visit to Goa. And they have assured us that in addition to this plan outlay, the other things will be considered in terms of special assistance. Goa government had requested for Rs 100 crore for the Golden Jubilee celebrations, Rs 50 crore for beach safety management, Rs 10 crore for the expansion of Kala Academy and Rs 150 crore for sharing the burden of the Sixth Pay Commission recommendations. As far as Prime Minister's <coughs> other commitments are concerned, National Highway Authority has already initiated the steps to take up the work from Belagam to Panaji on the National Highway. That work has already been tendered, tenders have been opened. As far as the road stretch from Patra Devi to Kolem is concerned, their team was here a few days back. They have more or less finalized the alignment and probably they will go for calling of the bids in the next two to three months.